Hi and welcome to this Frontify Academy video. My name is Oliver, I'm a software developer at Frontify and in this video I'm going to walk you through Frontify for desktop. Let's jump in. So the first thing you will see is this login view and here you can enter your brand domain. In my case that would be monobrand.frontify.com. This is uh, our internal brand that we use for demo purposes. And now I can log in in my web browser. Um, I'm going to choose my right user here and I choose login. And here I can press allow access. And then there will be another pop-up window where I can press on open Frontify and now I'm being, I'm being redirected to the desktop app here. I don't need the web browser anymore, so I'm going to close this. And to open up the app again, you can click on the tray icon here on the bottom right. On Mac, it would be on the top right in your taskbar. And here you can choose your brand that you like to work on. Uh, in my case, I only have mono brand, but if, if you have multiple brands, you can choose it here. I'm going to choose mono brand here. So here you will see all the libraries that you have within this brand. In my case, this is the media icon, document and logo library. And I can start searching across all libraries with the search term here. Let's say I'm searching for winter. And then here I get my results in the media library. I have 35 assets and in my docu document library, I have just one asset. If I don't want to use a search term, I can also just start browsing one of the libraries by clicking on the button here on the right. Or I can change the drop down option here on the top to one of the specific libraries. Um, let's say I, I want to uh, browse the media library here. I click on show all 600 assets. And now I can uh, start scrolling here and now here I see all the assets. I can change the sorting that the newest is first or the oldest or alphabetical order. And I can also use the filters uh, like I'm probably used to from the uh, web application. So these filters behave exactly in the same way as they do on the web. So if I start searching here for winter, I can also use a filter in combination. Uh, let's say I want to have an image um, and I want to have a portrait. I can see that uh, I have 18 assets matching my filter and my search term. And as soon as I found my asset here, I can click on it to get a detailed view. Uh, here I have a small preview image and here on the bottom I see all the basic information like uh, file type, color space, file size, who uploaded it, when was it modified, I see tags and so on. I can also see metadata here, uh, which can be searched for. And the true power of the desktop application here is that I can now drag and drop this image to wherever I want. So if I want to use this uh, image in my Windows environment, I can just drag and drop it to here, to my desktop. Or let's say if I'm a designer and I'm working in Photoshop here, I'm working on some, some design file here, I can just drag and drop this image right into Photoshop or whatever design tool that I'm using. So one use case that I want to show you is, let's say I'm writing an email here in Gmail, I'm writing a text here, hello, and then uh, I'm searching for an asset, let's say a presentation. So let's take this PowerPoint presentation here that we have. I'm looking at it. I can use the pager here. Okay, this is the right uh, asset I'm looking for. Then I can just start drag and dropping this into my email here. And you can see that this PowerPoint presentation will be added to my email and I can send it to my colleague. So that's pretty cool too. If there's anything that you can't do in the desktop application, you have still the option to open this asset in the browser. So if you click on this, it will open up your Frontify environment uh, and you will directly see this asset like you're probably used to. Let's say if I don't want to drag and drop this, I just want to download it. I can click on download here and here I get uh, different download options. Uh, let's say I want to use this for Facebook. I can choose Facebook banner here and just press download. And now I see that this asset is now in the downloads folder. We also have more download options available. So let's say if I go to an icon library where I have my icons, we also have the recoloring uh, options here. You can change the color of your icon. Uh, let's say I want to have this blue greenish thing here. 
And let's say I want to use this uh, colored icon here now in Photoshop. I can start dragging and dropping this into Photoshop. And here I see, and as we can see, I have my icon here in the right color. If you ever want to change your brand, you can click on the icon in the top left. And here you will see the brand chooser again. And here you can click on the brand that you like to work on. You can also customize the behavior of the desktop application to a certain point. Uh, if you click on the menu here on the top right and choose preferences, you will have a few options available. The first one is if you want to start the desktop application when you log in on Windows or, or on Mac, you can enable or disable it. You can also disable the automatic update check, but I don't recommend doing this because you always want to be on the latest version to have the latest features and the latest bug fixes. So the default behavior of the app is that every time you click outside of it, it will hide. So here is an example. But you can also disable this uh, behavior by um, disabling this option. So every time you click outside of it, it will stay visible. You can also change the download folder that your assets are being downloaded to. And if you're on a small screen, it may be helpful to change the grid size to two. So if you are on this option, you will have a grid of two elements per row. This might help if you're uh, on a really small screen. But in my case, I'm fine with three items per row here. And to check if you're running the latest version, you can go to about. And here you see your current version and you can do a manual check for an update. In my case, I'm already up to date. So this is why it's saying you're running the latest version. You can also log out um, with your current user. This will take you directly to the login screen again, or you can just quit the application, but then you will stay logged in. We truly believe that branding can be done by anyone. And with this desktop application, we hope that your life is getting easier when it comes to creating brand material. Thanks for watching.